everyone. I am Dr. Rajesh Kumar Pandey, representing SSR Institute of Management and Research, Sirvasa. We are affiliated to SPPU Pune. Along with my student, Mr. Aditya Padia, MBA, second year, finance specialization. We both together are presenting in front of you a case study with the title Homophobia and Unseen Termite at Workplace, a case study of Padiar Polymer Limited. It talks about the LGBTQIA plus inclusion at organizations. Let us look forward to the case study presentation by Aditya Padia. Thank you, sir. Moving ahead with the presentation. The case study is titled as Homophobia and Unseen Termite at Workplace. A case study on harassment of LGBTQIA plus employee at Padia Polymers Limited. Now let's understand what does LGBTQIA plus stands for. When a woman is attracted to another woman, she is called a lesbian. When a man is attracted to another man, he is called a gay. When a man or woman is attracted to multiple genders, they are called as bisexual. When a person is born with one sex but has another gender, he is called a transgender. Collectively, the people of LGBTQ community are called also as queer when a person is born with both the sexes that is the both organs is called an intersex when a person is not having sexual interest in any gender is called an asexual and plus other minorities as well data facts according to the world bank estimate india is losing dollar 32 billion a year in economic output because of discrimination against the lgbtq community also, these are the various percentages that is the India is losing the revenue as well as the profit every year by discriminating the LGBTQ community. The flow of the presentation will be introduction Padia, about the company that is the Padia Polymers Limited and its timeline, journey of the protagonist of the case, the problem statement, dilemma identification, potential solutions and at last teaching notes. Introduction of the case, Padia Polymers Limited, a respected polymers manufacturing company, faced a troubling incident involving persistent harassment of a gay employee by co-workers. Workplace harassment, especially when tied to an individual sexual orientation, can have severe consequences for employee well-being and an organization's reputation, morale and productivity. The case study dives into the context of the situation, the individuals involved and the impact on the victim, shedding the light on concerns about company's workplace culture. The company has a history of quality and innovation in the polymers industry, but now faces challenges in fostering diversity and inclusion. The study aims to provide valuable lessons and recommendations to guide Padia Polymers Limited and other organizations dealing with similar issues toward a more inclusive and harmonious work environment. Talking about the company, the company name is Padia Polymers Limited. It was established on 1st August 2010 by Mr. Aditya Padia at Silvasa, India. The current total number of employees of the company are 600. The company offers the following products and services. Polyethylene films, polypropylene sheets, HDP pipes, plastic molding solutions and polymer additives. The company timeline. In 2010-11, after the inception, the company started with the growth with 50 employees. In the year, from the year 2012 and 2014, the, it uh, experienced expansion and market growth by increased workforce to 200 and new products were added. From year 2015 to 16, it experienced decline and challenges by increased competition and technology advancement. From year 2017 to 19, it went into recovery phase and market leadership by cost-effective strategy and eco-friendly products. In the year 2020, it faced the impact of COVID-19 pandemic by reduction of workforce and CSR by providing PP kits, etc. In the year 2021 and 2022, it faced the post-pandemic recovery by increased number of employees by 250 and online presence by customer center and also customer centric strategy. In the year 2023, it is a market player and is having a global presence with total workforce of 600 and tapping international markets. Now talking about the main protagonist of the case, he is Mr. A. Nath. His educational background is Master in te uh, Technology uh, from Mechanical Field and MBA in Finance and Operation and Supply Chain Management. He joined the company on 15th June 2017 at the designation of Senior Executive. He was promoted on 38th November 2021 to the posi uh, position of General Manager. The twist in the story comes when in June 2022, he was accidentally spotted by a co-worker on TV in a LGBTQIA plus parade parade held in Mumbai. The co-worker intolerant to this reported it to other employees. 
in the organization. Soon Mr. A. Nath started feeling the difference in the behavior of the co-workers towards him. The silent bullying began and slowly the problem escalated. Insulting and derogatory comments, vulgar messages on his office door, etc. were noticed. His professionalism was questioned on the ground of his sexual orientation and people called him anti-Indian as they thought homosexuality is western concept. He was excluded from social gatherings, not, not included in decision making and some of them started forcing him to leave the organization. Few empathetic people supported him but faced discrimination. The effects of the issue on the organization, negative impact on team dynamics, organizational culture deteriorated, hostile work environment, division of groups, decrease in performance. And on the protagonist, increased number of lives, decrease in decision-making ability, depression, loss of self-confidence, feeling ashamed, and feeling being trapped. Management response, Mr. A. Nutt reported to the management to seek solution, but it was unable to provide any solution. Soon, Mr. A. Nutt determined to get justice. He went to the chairman of the company to get the solution. The chairman looked into the matter, and he, and he being empathetic and open-minded person, took a step to help out the protagonist and get justice. For this, he decided to conduct a service, survey in his organization. The result of the surveys are of this follows. These are the slides. The conclusion of the survey was, while some respondents were aware and supportive, there is a significant portion that lacked awareness and express resistance or indifference to these issues. It suggests the need for targeted education and awareness campaign within the organization to promote LGBTQ. Additionally, the organization may need to address the concerns and reservations of those who are less supportive are, or are aware of these issues to foster a more inclusive environment. From the survey, following dilemmas are identified for the case acceptance versus cultural beliefs, comfort versus inclusion, employee request versus policy development, and support versus Solution to dilemmas. For dilemma one, acceptance versus cultural belief, the solution is education and awareness programs and emphasize shared values. Solution for dilemma 2, comfort versus inclusion, sensitivity training and support networks. Solution for dilemma 3, employee request versus policy development, collaborative policy development and clear communication. Solution for dilemma 4, support versus discrimination, zero tolerant policy, training and awareness, confidential reporting mechanisms. Conclusion and learning, the case supports the business management domain whereby obvious dilemma crops up for diversity, inclusion and gender equality. Key learnings from the case states that in changing era and modernization of businesses, it is important to respect every individual's dignity and break stereotypes. The case suggests the expected solution for the dilemmas to be encouraged further by the industry. Objectives of the case to equip the readers with understanding on the importance of inclusion of LGBTQ in the organizations to present the dilemma associated with the harassment of LGBTQI employees and its allies in the organization to deliberate upon the gender equality and accepting different sexual orientations at organization to bring an awareness among the participants on the ground of LGBTQ regarding its equality and rights. Problem statement, the situation at Padia Polymers Limited revolves around a, a hostile work environment created by discrimination and harassment against an employee, Mr. A. Nart, based on his LGBTQI plus identity. This issue has resulted in a significant decline in workplace morale, productivity and collaboration, negatively impacting the overall organizational culture. Additionally, there is a lack of awareness and understanding among employees regarding LGBTQI plus issues further exacerbating the problem. These are the broad questions. Teaching notes. A level of analysis and potential benefits of the case. These are the references pertaining to the case. A big thank you to MTC Global. Thank you to the co-creator. Hathias thanks to all the viewers of the video.